Good morning, everyone, on this uh, early Wednesday morning. It is uh, soggy out there, very wet, especially from Crossville on over through Athens and Cleveland, where we've had some heavier downpours and more is on the way, unfortunately, as this conveyor belt of rain is now starting to set up again from west to east, and that will be the theme of our day today. Uh, not as wet yesterday, very thankful for that, because if we'd have the consistent rain, the flooding threat will be really, really elevated. Now, I know we do have uh, some flood watches and flood advisories, uh, but uh, at least for the creeks and rivers, uh, not seeing the rain in just a short amount of time is really helping us. This is going to be kind of stretched out for three, four, five days. That's not good news because it's going to be a gloomy week, but at least it's not all happening at one time. So yeah, today another soaking rain basically uh, will push back in from uh, west to east, already starting early this morning. May even have a rumble of thunder. Uh, by about five, six o'clock, a lot of that will start to get chased off to the south and east. Tonight uh, we'll have lots of clouds, lots of fog and drizzle. In fact, when it's not raining today, it's going to be very foggy, very drizzly as uh, we do have dense fog advisories as well. So we got a lot going on and uh, not much of it is very good today when it comes to the weather as uh, overnight lows tonight only dropped to near 60. Tonight, today highs probably into the mid and upper 60s, upper 60s a good bet for much of the valley. And then tomorrow, I don't think it's going to be as wet. We'll have like another little break as we'll see a shower or two, but not that consistent rain. And uh, with that in mind, it's going to be quite warm for this time of year, between about 70 and 72. And then another system moves in from the west as we head into late Thursday night into Friday morning. So we'll go ahead and track it and let you see what's going on graphically. And uh, there is the setup as uh, the showers and thunder showers push through. There's a little break. And then by late Thursday night and Friday morning, another area of rain uh, pushes on through. Finally, after that, I think we may have a little drier window, but uh, there you see it by lunchtime today. Keep the rain gear handy if you're going to be heading out, and then that slowly slides off to the south and east by late this evening and early tonight. Still lots of clouds, fog, drizzle, lows only near 60, and then as we head into your Thursday, notice not a whole lot going on. Everything kind of waits until uh, maybe uh, later uh, Thursday evening through Thursday night into Friday morning. So notice from I-40, that will be the setup. And then as we head into early Friday morning, there's the last of what we can see at least through this work week. Although this weekend is not going to be rosy by any stretch of the imagination. It will be a little bit cooler behind that front. And then we may see some more scattered showers for the middle of the week. And then finally, this may be the kicker as we head into about Wednesday and Thursday of next week week. Uh, that will be the last real wet weather system that we may have to deal with. But still, next uh, seven days are going to be unsettled off and on as this weather pattern has been very active. Notice though by the end of the period, it looks like it's going to be turning much colder as we were thinking. And uh, that uh, may be an indication of a weather, weather pattern change as we head from the middle of December into the holiday season. Christmas and New Year's. So that's something we'll con continue to uh, watch as well. But at least in the next couple of three days, keep that rain gear handy. At least it's not going to be cold. In fact, temperatures will be much warmer than normal. So take care. Be safe. Have a great rest of your Wednesday, and we'll talk to you later.